Hey guys, and welcome to the video. This is gonna be just like a little weekend in the life video. It's Friday now, and we're actually just on our way to leave the house. We're gonna go look at some chickens, and I think they have rabbits too, but I've always wanted chickens. I'm not gonna get them like anytime soon, I don't think, but I just wanna see, right now they have like little baby chicks, so I wanna see them as their babies. And then I just wanna see like the setup and kind of what it's like to have chickens, kind of. But yeah, we're just gonna take you for a little weekend in the life. This is my goal. Hold his wings down. Hold him like a football. There you go. Don't worry about his legs. His legs will hang. <laughs> when we were seeing the chickens, we ended up staying and visiting for a few hours, and then we left and we got some dinner. And now I'm on my way to go take some senior pictures. I'm really excited. We're gonna go to two different locations, and I'll try to get some video from there. Um, but I'll also insert some of the pictures that I did get. I'm home now. I got home probably around like 9 o'clock, maybe a little bit before that. But I'm just going through all of the pictures. And they turned out so cute, and I'm so excited to have them edited and then send to her. So I'll probably be working on those a lot this weekend. And I also have to work on a video for the church, so that's going to be what I'm doing tonight. It's Saturday now. So far, we've just been working on some church stuff and then just hanging around at the house. It's like 2 o'clock, but we're just about to go to Tyler's parents' house, and they're going to be making some kudigi, which is like... Do you want to explain it to us? It's an Italian sausage sandwich, but we're making the meat. Yes. So they're going to be making that, and then we're going to be having dinner there, and then I'm just going to um, work on editing the church stuff, but it should be a fun time. Are you say anything about the rest? No, I know. I told her that. <laughs> There's mince thyme in here. downstairs working out and I'm just working on some rice bags. I'm just sewing them all along the edges and then I'll have to flip them outside and iron them but I like to do a bunch at once so also like a bunch of the edges and then I'll iron a bunch at once and then it just kind of makes it a lot easier to make them. But that's what's going on now. I probably won't actually fill any of them tonight. Um, I might not even get to ironing any of them but hopefully I can finish. I just have this little stack. There's 
nine more left in here, so three of each pattern. But hopefully I can just at least sew the rest of that stack tonight. It's Sunday morning now, I'm just practicing a little piano and then I have to go to the actual practice in about 10 minutes and then we'll have church. And I'm not sure exactly what we're doing after, but it looks like it's supposed to rain this afternoon. So it'll probably not be disc golf, but I will keep you updated. And call out against it for their evil has come up before me. A couple things you need to know. It is a great city. It is a powerful city. Jonah himself says it takes three days to walk across. Jonah, the book of Jonah reveals your story. And not just that, it also reveals who the Savior is. Jonah actually isn't the Savior. Listen, you're not the hero of your story. I want you all to know that. Jonah is not the hero of the book of Jonah. Let me tell you, Jesus is the hero. He's the Savior. It is by Jesus and Jesus alone. He is the only one that can resurrect your life, take away your sin, give you fulfillment, give you hope, give you eternity. Jesus and Jesus alone. church we went out to eat lunch and then we went disc golfing with Tyler's parents and his cousin. It was like 90 degrees though so it was super hot the whole time and I like barely screwed because my hips were hurting so bad this morning so I didn't want to like do anything to make them hurt even worse tonight. But now I'm just in the craft room. I don't mind the walls. We haven't painted this room yet. I'll show you what I've been working on. I got this new little watercolor kit. Annika was telling me about it. Um, This is the one she uses. It's just... Uh, Windsor and Newton one and I had a, a gift certificate to Michael so I got that right now I'm working on a little octopus one I just have found all of these things off of Pinterest and then tonight I did these ones this and then this one I followed like a YouTube tutorial and then this I liked the concept of it but the pen was like way too thick like it wasn't what I was hoping it would turn out to look like. It's Monday morning now. I just got done with my doctor's appointment. I'm 30 weeks. So this was just like an every four week checkup. And I actually had to get my Rogam shot. And I've talked about this in other videos before, but it's just because I have negative blood and Tyler has positive blood. So if our baby has positive blood, then our bloods like can't mix. So this shot just prevents my body from making antibodies against that like positive i think it's like rh protein or something like that i don't know but i had to get that at this appointment so that was the only exciting thing that happened and then i just asked about the visitor restrictions and they said right now they're letting husbands in sometimes they go back and forth like if they're letting like a doula in as a third person but they said like the husbands will be able to come in we just all have to get tested for corona so that all went good the baby's heart rate was 144 and now i'm going to every two week appointments so that's crazy because that means that he's getting here really soon i think they said at 36 weeks then it changes to every week so i have three appointments before it changes to every week now but now i'm just headed to the church we're doing a food distribution thing um i think it's like dairy products that we're doing today and this is the first time we've done like the dairy products so I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm going to take some pictures there and then probably just help. I don't know like how heavy the crates are or anything, but I'll just try and like help pass that out and stuff. But that started at nine and I think Tyler said that they're just like unloading everything still from because it comes like on a big box truck. But I'm going to head to that now. It's so weird because it's so gloomy out right now, but this morning it was actually really nice and like warm outside. Last night it stormed pretty bad. I tried getting some video of it last night so you might be able to see like uh, how bad the rain was coming down. Now, after the food distribution thing, I just
just went home and like slept for an hour and a half. And then we woke up and, or I woke up, and then we came here to Marquette for dinner and we just golfed again. And now we're just headed home. That's all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you aren't subscribed because the next video that I put out, my family's gonna be coming up to visit. So that'll be a fun vlog to watch. But I think we have to have convinced on chickens. We wouldn't be getting them this year. We would wait until next year if we do end up getting them. I was surprised he liked them. And once he heard like you could make money selling eggs, he got a little bit more on board for that. And the cookie that we made seemed to turn out good. It was Tyler's first time ever helping make it. So that was fun to learn. We didn't play as much disc golf as we usually play, but we did get two rounds in this weekend and we got to play with Tyler's cousins that were here to visit. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up the whole weekend and thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.